Fantastic. Come on over. They are justifying the arrest as interference with the protective mission. That is how they are justifying the arrest as federal charges. Everyone should be very, very, very concerned. What has happened here today is that the U.S. government has taken the extraordinary step of saying that the Vienna Convention means nothing. That what the government or any government around the world can do is if it is angry, dislikes, disapproves, does not want the leader of another country, that it can simply designate someone else, claim that person is the leader of another sovereign country, recognize another person as a leader of a sovereign country, regardless of whether or not there are elections to that end. And instead of leaving the government of Venezuela up to the people of Venezuela, you now have the U.S. government deciding for the people of Venezuela who their leadership will be and handing over an embassy compound to their designated representative. The Vienna Convention protects all diplomatic compounds all around the world, including those of American embassies. And I would think that the State Department would be very, very, very worried about sending this signal because of the danger it places its own embassies. This is a very dangerous step that the U.S. government has taken. It's an extraordinary step. In times of war, countries do not seize embassies. There are protective uh, policies that are put in place. Third countries uh, manage consular services. And the reality is the appointed government that the Trump administration has chosen to leave Venezuela, chosen as its representatives here in the United States, has no capacity to execute consular services. So even giving them the embassy is nothing but a show. This is a photo op opportunity in support of the U.S. government's attempt to in Venezuela. That's what this is.